Hello guys and welcome to a new video from We Talk UAV. It's Alex Asmacher here. First of all, thank you for all the views and all the comments and all the positive vibes on the video of the DJI goggles. So we thought after reading some of, well, after reading all of your comments, that we would take some of them because we don't know the answer yet and we wanted to actually answer them and just test them, do the test ourselves and see what happens so that you learn, that we learn and that everybody learns. Now let's go inside. First of all, we want to start right away with the issue about the video quality output. And guys, there has been a lot of talk and remember, keep calm. You have to understand two different settings, the camera video output on the drone and also what you're actually seeing, the quality of what you're seeing inside the goggles. For that, once you turn on the goggles, you can choose among three different modes. The first one is the smooth mode. The second one is the HD mode and third one is the keep current mode. And you have to understand that when choosing the smooth mode or the HD mode, you are actually changing the video output from the drone to have a better live view experience on the goggles. If you, for example, want to film in 4K with the drone and have an immersive experience on the goggles, you can choose and select the keep current mode that this won't affect what your drone is filming and the setting and the quality of what your drone is filming. We went out to explain this more in detail and we've made another whole complete video, uh, which we'll leave at the description or at the end of this video, where we're actually testing this and seeing how it affects the live experience and how it affects your footage. Aerial Perceptions LLC is asking if you can adjust the speed of the gimbal when using the goggles to move the camera. And the answer is, it depends. If you take the remote controller, you can adjust the gimbal speed only when using the camera and moving the camera with the controller. However, if you're wearing the goggles and you're using the, for example, the gimbal mode and you are panning the camera with the goggles, the sensitivity adjusted on the controller won't affect the goggles. And Inside the goggles, you cannot adjust the sensitivity. If you're wearing the goggles and pan your head left, it wouldn't be interesting that the camera would take 10 seconds to pan left. This would be really distressing and it could cause you some headache. Trinity asked, what is this wizardry? No, Trinity, look at this. What do you think of that? Frederick Sittler is asking if it's possible to connect multiple goggles to the same camera. And the answer is yes, you can connect up to two goggles to the Mavic Pro. The only thing you have to know is there are two possibilities. Always with the Mavic Pro, you can either have two goggles and two different remote controllers or one goggle with two different remote controllers, always with slave mode that we explained in another video. A lot of you have also been asking about the HDMI port that the goggles have and have asked if you can connect any other device to enjoy the goggles. And the answer is yes. Any device that has an HDMI output can be connected to the goggles and you can enjoy inside the goggles as if you were watching TV, for example. I have a question for you. I'd like to get a set of goggles. I wanted to know if a friend is wearing the goggles, can I still see you with my smartphone so I can give my friend a ride, but I can still see where the Mavic is going. And also the second question from Son Ero, will it allow pilot to view an iPad or phone at the same time? And the answer is yes, of course it will. When you're connecting your phone or your iPad to the controller of the Mavic in this case, you will always maintain the view on your phone or on your tablet. This means that the goggles will always see what the controller is seeing and you will always be the main person who is flying the drone unless you put on some uh, specific modes on the goggles that we'll talk later, don't worry about this. But yes, you will always be able to see the same on your phone or tablet. A lot of you have been leaving some comments about whether the uh, goggles are capable of being connected to another drone that is not the Mavic and the answer is yes. Josie Wales just asked for the Phantom 4 and another example was from postmodern filmmaking. He asked about the Phantom 4 Pro. So as I said, the answer is yes. However, there are some differences. First of all, only the Inspire 2 and the Phantom 4 are connected via micro USB to the goggles and the Inspire 1 and the Phantom 4 Pro and the Phantom 4 Advanced, according to the manual, are connected via HDMI. And if you remember from our previous video, it's a type D cord cable. 
Uh, as you saw, the Mavic is capable of doing everything. Intelligent, intelligent flight modes, it's capable of tilting the gimbal, uh, moving the yaw of the drone. However, the Phantom 4 Pro and the Advanced can do the same, just not the cinematic mode or the fixed wing mode. Right now, we don't know if this is gonna change in the future, probably yes, but right now they're not able to do so. And the Phantom 4 is able to do the same as the Phantom 4 Pro, however, it cannot focus the camera throughout the goggles. Brian Jensen made also a very interesting question and he said, I guess no diopter adjustment for focus. That seems users with presbyopia will need special glasses to see clearly. Is this true or is a diopter option possible? Well, this is different from the IPD because the IPD that I explained on the knob, I said that it just moves both parts of the goggles depending on how wide your eyes are. However, I said also that I was blind and I have the same problem as Brian Jensen. However, I use contact lenses and there are no problems. No, there is no way of adjusting the diopter. But I also showed you that you're able to put your glasses inside. Your glasses, your normal glasses that you use for every day for seeing the world. You can use them inside the goggles. There is enough space. Jacob Schade or Jacob Shade also made a very interesting question. He said, just a phantom idiot, nothing more. Did you ever see fat sharks before? Um, of course, I saw fat sharks. I saw them once and I even took a picture. I think it's this one. Nah, just kidding. It's, it's just a joke. Um, we will do a fat shark comparison with the DJI goggles. Just stay tuned, subscribe. We will do that. We're checking them out first and then we'll do the comparison and answer the question whether you can even compare them because Sorry, Jacob, but um, they are very different. But we will test it out, so stay tuned. We had also some people talking about the size and the weight of the DJI goggles and comparing them to fat sharks. But guys, you have to understand that this is something completely different. It's a whole different product from the fat sharks. DJI says that what they want to create with these goggles is an immersive experience for the viewer. This is something completely new that has never been done before. And on their official video, they are saying, they're comparing it, that it's like looking at a 216-inch screen from three meters away. This is a whole new world. And you have also to understand that it includes a touchpad and it has speakers and you can do a lot of stuff throughout all the options from the goggles on the drone, on the settings and on the filming. And that just needs space. Another interesting question is made by Fred Sheldon and he asked if the histogram is available on the display. Well, the answer, Mr. Cooper, is very easy. No, you can't. If you remember our previous video, if you have seen it, and if not, make sure to check it out. Everything that is able to be done throughout the goggles has been explained and histogram is not part of it. Well, guys, thank you a lot for watching. We really hope you learned something. Leave us any comment or leave us a like, subscribe, don't forget to subscribe. If you have any further questions, we will be answering them gladly. And I don't know, remember always, keep calm and talk UAV.